Oil prices rebounding from 12 year lows, and now Iranian crude just about to hit the market. The first delivery arriving in Europe earlier this week since sanctions were lifted earlier this year. Joining me now is former BP CEO Lord John Brown. Lord John Brown, good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. We've had a pretty good move upwards the last couple of weeks. To what do you attribute that? Uh, I think sentiment. I think people are thinking that uh, uh, demand isn't as bad as people had previously thought. You know, demand always rises because there are more people wanting to aspire to have the things in the middle class that, that we have here. So demand's looking okay. Supply is still pretty strong, though. Supply is very strong around the world. It's softening in the U.S. and in some of the more uh, mature areas like the North Sea, maybe a little in China. It feels like the supply side of the story is really the, st the part of the story that's not going away anytime soon. It probably continues to get problematic for prices, right? Because you've got the shale producers in the U.S. battered as much as they have been. They're still producing, many. You've got Iran, Russia, Mideast. How do you see it, the supply side of the story? Well, I think there's still a lot of oil around and it will be produced. Uh, Russia's doing pretty well because the cost base in Russia's come down as a result of the ruble uh, softening, so margins are still staying there. Uh, and around the world, there are plenty of supplies. There are some indications of people investing less. Certainly, they're investing less for the long term, but the long term will take a few years to come uh, and be evident in reduced production. So su supply is one piece of the story. The other big piece of the story, as Maria said, is, uh, is China. We have a report overnight, Chinese exports down 25%. How do you size up what's going on in China right now? How serious a slowdown are they experiencing, and what does that mean for the rest of the world? Well, clearly, they, have, they are experiencing a slowdown, but actually their oil consumption growth rate it is hardly changed. I mean, they're still consuming uh, oil, because it's transportation primarily, uh, and there's, that's still needed. It's an, a staple for the economy. So it, I think it's been a little overrated uh, in terms of its impact on oil itself. But how about the broader economy? I mean, do you think that they face a serious uh, economic problem well, clearly right it's, now? It's clearly uh, changing. The, the, it's the makeup of the economy that is changing, obviously. Uh, six, six and a half to seven percent, as the stated. Uh, new growth rate is still pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. certainly relative to it the rest just, of the world. And it just won't, it can't uh, uh, patch over the cracks that the rest of the world have by having a, a super fast growth rate. I don't know if I believe that number though. 3% is, is, is what some people, but anyway, it's what they're reporting. What about bankruptcies here in the United States from these shale producers and these small oil companies? Do we really need to see these companies go out of business and get picked up in order to get a kind of a, a bottom in supply? Well, we're definitely seeing that at the moment. Right. Uh, and there'll be more of those as the, uh, as the credit season rolls forward uh, that uh, banks have to redetermine what they're prepared to lend. Uh, and hedges, people have sold production forward at higher prices as they roll off. So I think we'll see weak producers go out of business. The strong producers will stay there. They'll just moderate the amount they invest. And as they reduce the amount they invest, then long-term production will come down. But short-term, not too much is going to happen from the great producers in the U.S. Your latest book, Connect, How Companies Succeed by Engaging Radically with Society. Congratulations. You've Thank become you quite much. the prolific writer. It's number four. Yeah. This one, I had to get off my chest. It's, uh, it's, it, it's about why corporate social responsibility as a, as a way of thinking is wrong. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, left in a ghetto. Uh, this, it's how do you engage with society has to be to the heart of your business. If you get it right, then you basically make higher returns, and that's evident from all the studies over many years. Really interesting stuff. John, good to see you. Thanks so Thank much for joining us. Appreciate it. The book is Connect, John Brown. Next